It's the fifth largest religion in the world. In the UK, there are half a million Sikhs and they stand out in a crowd. The distinctive appearance comes from wearing a set of items which links the Sikh to self, the community and God. They're commonly called the five Ks, items that have a practical history and enormous spiritual importance. The case is the hair which is one of the five Ks and it's a sign of completeness and saintliness and is a must for all Sikhs. The Ganga is a sign of cleanliness. It's used to remove dead and broken hair from the scalp and it's to be done twice a day, once in the morning and once before evening prayer. Kara is an article of our Sikh faith. It's a sign of uh, defensiveness, also a sign of uh, it's a bond between us and the Guru. And uh, uh, the Kura, it tells us not to believe in superstitions. Kashara is an article of Sikh faith. It is a sign of modesty, which should be worn by both males and females. It should be up to knee length. It is also an article which bonds both saints as soldiers. Kirpan, the final article of faith, is again borne by both male and female as a sign of fearlessness, righteousness, freedom. It is to be used only as a last resort for defensive purposes only, for yourself and the weaks. And that completes the outer image of the Sikh. It's food for all, prepared by the community, and it's eaten together. For a Sikh, it's about charity, fellowship, and equality. The concept of Langar started with our first Guru, the founding father, Guru Nanak Dev Ji. The story goes that his father had given him 20 rupees to do business. Instead, he came across a hungry people who needed food, and he spent all his 20 rupees feeding them. It is from those 20 rupees that it has multiplied into millions that every single Gurdwara now has Langar. Regardless of whoever you are, from whichever background you come from, caste, color, creed, we eat by sitting down on the floor, on the mat, thereby denouncing any rank and file. The idea of giving shelter, food and protection occurs throughout Sikh teachings. Inspiration was taken from the environment and trees have a special significance. Kalsa wood in Nottingham was created by the Sikh community as a place to reflect and enjoy nature. Trees give us an idea as to how to live our lives. Trees provide shade for the weary traveller. Likewise, human beings who are travelling this life, we can provide them shade by our conduct, by our behaviour. As trees give flowers, beautiful flowers, if we have that sort of character whereby people are attracted to our goodness, our virtues, we should imbibe those in our lives. And last but not least, each tree, if it bears fruit, a hungry person can eat that. And likewise, a sick should, in their own lives, bear the fruit of God's knowledge, so that others in the future, from that fruit, from the seedling, they, they will implant God's love, and therefore, humanity in their life. For Amajit Singh Sangera, every morning begins with the same routine. As a baptized Sikh, he's expected to uphold the values of his faith. The ideals of service to the community and protecting the weak were handed down to all Sikhs, and Amajit manages to carry them out both in his spiritual and daily lives. It's actually just a fantastic role that it fits in with the religion and my current role as a police community support officer. It, that's like uh, defending uh, yourself, your family and your community and that fits in really, really well with the police role. I'm really, really thrilled with the role and I enjoy what I do for the community. It's a religion born in turbulent times. The India of 500 years ago saw much conflict. As well as being true to the path of God, the Sikh had to be ready to defend himself and others. You get up in the morning and you recite the prayers and meditate in the morning which is the saint side of the, the Sikh. And then when I get to me at the station, that's uh, when the soldier side of uh, the Sikh comes in. The regent says that if, if somebody's vulnerable and uh, weak, 
it, it's a Sikh's duty to protect them in any way. Generation to learn because without them, then we ain't got no religion. 